Let's talk about anchors. Drilled anchors. You can divide them into two categories. One is according to the safety regulations any other one not according to safety regulations doesn't mean that the non-safety regulations are not strong enough this all has got to do with the regulations of your country you're living in you have the glue bolts expansion bolts this v-thread so what do you define as a safety standard so in my case canyon company in france it's the delegated federation that is in charge of establishing the rules Smokey, this is not non, this is bowling, there are rules so they say inox which is stainless steel bolts 10 millimeters of diameter or more to give examples and they have to apply to the norm EN959 which is the European standard these are glue-in bolts this is kind of funny so Europe says okay here's the norms we want you to adhere to but in order to know what kind of rules that we just written down you have to pay for it and by the way if you don't adhere to these norms we'll give you a fine so I found preview so we can just have a peek inside 10% sale off so if you're going for a 30 cent then just needs to hold you have to get but if you do want to bolt in a way that is official then it's worth looking at this most of the anchors are about 17 millimeters deep and mechanical rock anchors so we talk about the expansion bolts the install length should be at least five times the diameter of the drilled hole so first this is the expansion bolt so this one, if we have a look, okay, so this little guy has got a length of seven centimeters and is 10 millimeters thick. So for this, you drill a hole of 10 millimeters, but you make sure the hole is deeper than the actual bolt. So make it deeper. And this has got to do with when we're cleaning. So if any day you want to clean it up, you just have to unscrew this, tap it into the rock and it disappears. Obviously it does not disappear, but you cannot never get it back out. It's a mechanical expansion bolt. The advantage, it's super easy to use. You just have to drill it in, put this in, tighten it up, and it's good to go. Also, a very good advantage is you can use this instantly. So you drill it and you can use it. That's the biggest advantage. The disadvantage is that first it's a mechanical anchor. So if the rock is not solid, and this goes for all of them. So first of all, you have to make sure that the rock is really solid. If you, if you were smart enough in the beginning, you drill the hole deep enough, you can tap it back in which makes it disappear. If not, you have to just cut it off. A major disadvantage of this is if you have hunters or local um, activists or locals that do not want anyone to go into the canyon, what often happens, they would, they would just undo this and they would take off the, the hanger. So they would just steal the hanger. So then there's the glue in, eight centimeters long. 10 millimeters thick so you drill a hole of 12 millimeters okay so you, that means that you have one millimeter around each side so you want to drill a hole that fits perfectly also you want to drill a hole with a little uh, slot so this like goes into here so it cannot get twisted but advantage this is super durable you cannot just take it out uh, it's super strong the glue even if it's one millimeter around it it's just super strong uh, it's clean, it's small, it's it's stainless steel by the way. So these are all stainless steel. And this is the, like the new standard. This is the disadvantage you cannot use it instantly. So in theory you have to wait 24 to 48 hours. This is a hand drilled, we call it a spit. Okay, so this one is 12 millimeters. The screw is actually only 8 millimeters. This is 3 centimeters deep, which is pretty insane. It's kind of nothing. What you do is you want to drill a hole, so you put on this, this is a hand drill. You can also do it with a regular drill. The only thing that's really important is you want to have a flat surface when you drill it. So you drill it, tuck, 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 tuck. Make sure that everything that's going on here, there's a lot of dust gathering, so you have to make it, put it out all the time. Once you've drilled until this, so the rock surface would be here. What you do is take this out, you put this in, you tap it into the rock while this is Tap, being tapped in there this is gonna expand and it gonna, it's gonna block this and this is only like a centimeter deep which is pretty insane so there's a four type of anchor we can do with a drill and this comes from ice climbing so what you do in ice climbing you take an ice screw and they drill it like this then they drill another hole like this and they thread a rope through which is a V thread so we, we can do that in rock as well so imagine you have the rock you drill a hole like this drill a hole like that and then thread a rope through this does take a lot more skill in drilling. However, I think there's a lot of advantages. I've made a special video on this, so make sure you check this out. I'll put the link in the description.